Hello friends, welcome to my channel, Civil Smart. Today we are going to design a continuous beam having a three span is there from the IS code method. So this is the continuous beam, rectangular beam having a span of 7 meter and dead load is 12 km per meter and live load is 16 km per meter. Flow finish is given and F M20 is used and FE415. Suppose with this 200 mm. So what are the steps? Firstly, we will calculate the effective depth by inputting these data in pencils only we will calculate the effective depth the effective span will be calculated by the sheet now the IS code method says the bending moment coefficient like this near the middle of the end span for the live load and the dead load and at the middle of the interior span and support moment so span moment will be calculated and the support moment will be calculated right so for the maximum bending moment at the mid span we will calculate the maximum bending moment from this table and we will go for if it is a doubly reinforced beam then you have to go for this and either if it is a singly reinforcement beam then the next sheet for singly reinforcement beam you have to go for this one right next is the tensile seal at the sub mid span bottom steel maximum negative moment at the support so we it will be calculated that the maximum negative moment at the support will be calculated tensile we know that for the support the tension is at at the top and the compression is at at the bottom right so next the shear coefficient also the is code also says for the shear coefficient there is a table table 13 from the is code and these are the factors coefficients we use to calculate the shear force it will be calculated in this sheet automatically right so shear reinforcement and this is a table for calculating the stirrups and spacing and finally the deflection check let's start we will put these data in pink cells only fck is 20 fy in our case is 415 dead load is 12 live load is 16 kN per meter floor finish is 0 0.875 and support width is 300 m okay clear span is 7 meter now you can see that the effective depth by the formula it's lie between the 115 to 120 of the clear span so this is been calculated as 466 to 350 so we will take middle of this like 450 we are assuming and the assuming the width like we are assuming the 250 mm as the width and effective cover is 50 mm effective cover so you can see that overall depth comes out to be 500 450 plus 50 okay it is calculated b into density 3.13 is the self weight of the beam now the effective span l effective we all know that if the clear span if the support width is less than 1 12th of the clear span so 1 12th of the clear span is 583 and support width is 300 mm then you have to fo proceed for effective span as center to center distance comes out 7.30 clear span plus effective depth comes out 7.45 so minimum of these two will be the effective span now you can see that 7.30 effective span 7.30 and 7.30 this is a three span beam if the support width is greater than the one twelfth of the clear span then effective span is calculated by for intermediate span l effective is clear span so it will be seven meter if this case is satisfied then there will be l effective it will be seven meter will be there and end span will be calculated by these two condition lesser of above these two conditions right so in our case this is 7.30 okay effective span is calculated now the boom, bending moment coefficient table which says that this is the end span this is intermediate span this is also a end span now you can see that as per the table dead load 1 12th and live load is 1 10th is the coefficient and it will be calculated 1 12th into w into l effective square this is the formula so in this span movement table you can see that we have calculated for a b the span burn that dead load is calculated this is how it is calculated the dead load like this 1.5 times the total dead load so what is total dead load dead load plus self weight plus flow finish is 16 so 1.5 times this is the design load 24 into l square l square is effective length square divided by 12 this is the coefficient for dead load and for the live load this is the live load 1.5 times of w 
live load what is the live load 16 16 is the live load so you can see that into L effective square divided by 10 so overall add up is total span movement is this much for AB span for BC span 186 calculated and for CD span is calculated as well as the support movement you can see that the coefficients are one tenth at the support next to the end support this is the end support and this is the next to the end support one tenth and one ninth for the live load so this is also a support next to the end support so this will be also the same right you can see that support movement is also calculated now we, we have to check either it is a doubly reinforced or a singly reinforced so for the coefficient for f15 is 0.138 you can see that the maximum movement that is 234 from these three the maximum movement has been taken 234 is greater than the mu limiting mu limiting formula is coefficient into fck bd square so we have taken the coefficient as for 415 is 0.138 so now m max is greater than mu limiting so it will be a doubly reinforced right so for fe415 xu max by d is 0.48 we all know that from this table for 1415 xu max by d is 0.48 and d dash uh, that is a compression effective that we are assuming as 50 mm so you can see that d dash by d is 0.11 and from this table we have to calculate the fsc that is compressive st strength so it will lie this is 0.11 it will lie between 0.1 and 0.15 so for 0.1 this is value is 353 and for you can see 0.15 this is value is 242 so finally 283 is the value for fsc so it has been calculated so next you can see that the tensile steel at the mid span for the bottom steel so we are assuming for the span bending movement we have taken the maximum movement for which we are calculating the reinforcement so for the tension steel at the mid span so you can see that this is we are calculating for the bottom steel for the mid span uh, AST1 is calculated by this formula this has been given in the IS code so finally the AST value is being calculated and AST2 is calculated as 656 AST2 and finally total AST required is AST1 and AST2 if you are assuming the 20 mm dia 6 bars are required for the bottom steel in the mid span for the positive bending movement right and compressive steel MU2 what is MU2 MU2 is MU minus MU limiting so you can see that 834 AST required is calculated by this formula MU2 divided by FSC FSC we have calculated into d minus d dash what is d d in our case we have chosen as 450 mm now d dash is the compressive effective that so you can see that the asc is also calculated so assume if you are assuming 20 mm see that three bars are required for the compression steel now for the maximum negative bending movement 270 is being calculated in this year. 270 maximum negative movement and you can see that the coefficient is 0 0.138 now this is also doubly reinforcement the same AST AST1 and AST2 is calculated if you are assuming a 20 mm dia 7 numbers are required in the top steel at the support you can see that tension steel at the support this is the top steel and if for the compression steel will be at this support so if you are assuming the same 20 mm so 4 numbers are required right so 6 numbers are required here and four numbers will go throughout and three numbers are required go throughout and seven numbers are required so four extra steel are required of 20 mm bar now for the shear coefficient you can see that the shear coefficient at the end support at the support next to the end support outer side and the inner side you can see that intermediate support and end support these are the coefficient shear force being calculated by the formula w into this coefficient into l right the maximum shear force will be 205 it has been taken the tau v is required vu by bd is calculated ast provided is calculated so this is the 1.95 percent is the pt provided so it will lie between we have to change from this this will lie between 1.5 and 2 
1.5 and 1.75 so you can see that for m20 for 1.5 this is 0 0.72 and for 1.75 this is 0 0.75 you need to change these data so that these are the pixels you need to change the data so that you can you will find the tossy value 0 0.774 so you can see that 0 0.774 and if you are assuming 8 mm dia and 2 leg stirrer so spacing is calculated as 130 mm 2 leg stirrer Rahul's first spacing is also there so finally the deflection check PT provided is calculated 1.95 FS is calculated by this formula modification factor for 1.925 and 216 is the value so it is being like 1 so from this table then this is okay if you are changing the value of the dead load and live load like if a very much reduced rate are there and live load is also very much less so you can see that maximum positive bending moment this is positive bending moment is changed so maximum is 122 and now 122 is less than 139 so this is singly reinforced and now it is saying the proceed in the next sheet so in the next sheet you can see that 122 for the mid span singly reinforced mean this much is the pt provided is calculated if you are assuming 16 mm dia five numbers are required and two numbers in the compression bar for the top steel so in our detailing part we can see that five numbers in the bottom steel and two numbers in 16 in top steel again the maximum negative bending moment now in this case the w reinforcement is satisfied so we will proceed for this sheet only right so you can see that four numbers are required at the top steel and two numbers are required at the bottom steel so according to the, your loading condition all the values will be calculated now you can see that the stirrups has been changed this if you are assuming the 8 mm to leg stirrup 300 mm the spacing is required and all the values will be same so this is a spreadsheet for the three span continuous beam design by is code method that is a bending moment and shear force coefficient method if you like this video and if you want this excel sheet please subscribe my channel and mail me and uh, whatsapp me on my whatsapp number for this excel sheet thanks for watching